Hi everybody, it's me, Jessica Lahore, and we're back with another Jess Talk. Today we're going to be talking all about birthdays, that's right. But before we get into the episode, make sure that you subscribe to my channel, you hit the bell for all notifications, and this is a podcast as well, so make sure you're streaming on all platforms, Spotify, Apple Music, and more. Okay, birthdays, let's get into it. Attention the whore, attention the whore, attention the whore, attention, attention. Here I am walking down the street, seeing all the boys trying to take a peek. Shorts pulled up and chest up right. Come on, boys, just take a bite. Look, but don't touch, spin it round and round. Ooh, okay, so for this, just talk the generalization of birthdays. So I remember growing up, I want to start like younger. When I was growing up, I remember birthdays being significantly more important uh, with my parents, with my, my family, having gatherings, things like that. Like that party mentality was such a, a powerful thing. And then I noticed as certain family members either broke away from the larger family or um, certain members would pass away, it would change a lot. Uh, birthdays became, you know, you had your double digit birthday, you have your 16th birthday. And I think that like the parties got a little bit less, like the present giving kind of changed in the way that it was like, well, just tell us what you want and we'll get it for you. And something, I don't like doing that. As an adult, I really don't like doing that anyway. So I feel like there was a period where I felt like, oh, birthdays just aren't that important. You're just getting older. Like, I, it doesn't matter. It's another year. You're, same things happen all the time. And nobody wants to celebrate with you. And it was just a bother. But like you, I feel like I went through that phase where I almost tried to, to negatively talk about it not being a big deal. When in reality, I switched a, a, a little flip of the switch was when I was probably, I think, 21. 21? Uh, and I was like taken out by my friends on the town. And I think I made it a point that that birthday moving forward every year, I was going to make it special, make it about me. I'm not a very, I don't consider myself a selfish person. I guess that's a biased thing to say. I don't consider myself that wants all the attention on them as much as I am a drag queen, like out of the drag piece of it. And so I really abuse, I say this verbatim, I abuse the month of May for my birthday. And I have since I probably turned 21. It's my entire birthday month. I tell everybody at every show it's my birthday. I tell people that I'm celebrating my birthday. I make it a thing and I do some kind of party. Now, well not party, some kind of thing. But here's the panic. I usually plan it about a week and a half before my actual birthday because I go through the constant roller coaster of abandonment of like, no one's going to come. No one's going to show up. What am I going to do? I don't have any friends. When in reality, yes, people will show up. Yes, people will come. And you just kind of have to trust the process. And as somebody with a, a lot of abandonment problems, if you put an RSVP on there, they tell you who's coming and then they know they're coming. So it really helps. Oh, I would be pleased to RSVP as pending. Um, so I had, went through a period where birthdays weren't a big deal to me. And now probably from 21 on birthdays are super important to me and other people's birthdays are important to me. If I'm invited to a birthday, I will make it a point to show up in some capacity, uh, whether that's in between shows, if I can stay the whole time, if I really can't make it like I want to show up for my people. Any Anybody that's willing to invite me to their party, I will do my best to show up to it. Do I get everyone? I don't, but I do my best. Um, and make it about them, you know, follow their theme. If they tell you there's a theme for the party, follow the theme for the party, even if it's not your style. Like making the little efforts to make somebody feel special on a day that you want them, like you would want to be treated and feel special. To me, is like that circle of life reciprocation. Like, I'm going to make sure that I'm going to be treat people the way that I would want them to treat me for my birthday. Um, and I guess that is also, I am weird with gift giving. Um, as I've grown older and older and older, when I have my adult friends or my adult family members, it has gotten more comfortable in my heart to not force a gift, feel obligated to purchase random shit or gift cards or, you know, just something. Now, if you get someone a card, I think that's really nice. It's a really simple, easy thing to do. But I'm sick as an adult just getting crap. Like, 
Oh, like when your mother, oh, let's talk about gift giving on birthdays. Like when your parent, you tell them like you're collecting something, but you only collect it for so long. But for the rest of your life, they think you collect this and now you have a bajillion of it. Um, I used to t collect the M&M characters, like different machines and memorabilia. And I kind of phased out of that after like two years. Like I thought it was cool, but of course... Every family member that talked to my mother, my mother, and it's very nice. It's, like, very thoughtful. But now I, I had to get rid of, like, a shit ton of M&M things. Another one was pigs. I love pigs. And when I moved out of my my old apartment, I threw away over 250 pig items and kept my favorite, like, 50 that I really loved. Like, that's what I'm talking about. So I don't want to, like, gift my friends crap just to say, oh, you deserve this, so I'm going to give this to you. I would rather give them something, and I was like, I... Th I saw this or I thought of this and I was like immediately I wanted to get it to you because I ran into it or I had the perfect gift that flipped into my mind and I was like I got to get that for you you're going to love it. Um I don't want to I don't want to like force a present. Yeah. And I don't want people to force presents for me too because then it's it's kind of like getting something from somebody that you know really cares about you but it's not anything that you would get for yourself or it's nothing that would actually like that you enjoy like Somebody gives me chocolate. I don't like chocolate. I don't eat chocolate. But I appreciate it because you got it for me. But in my back of my head, I'm like, I would have been fine if you just didn't get me chocolate. Um, or can we do something together? Like, let's go out and do something together. So gift giving has really changed with holidays, with birthdays in general, that I wanted it to be more authentic and more natural. Um, or like easy things, like a card. Here are some flowers. Something really simple like that. Um, I really enjoy. I think that's really meaningful as well. So I, and I also have a hard time, everybody has different opinions on birthdays. I know a lot of people are like, I hate my birthday. It was the most traumatic day of my life. I hate it. I hate it. I hate it. And if that is your experience, fine. Um, I find a way to balance how I can celebrate you and remind you that you matter. Cause I also know a couple people have friends that are like, this is the day I was adopted and this is my actual birthday. And my actual adoption day is the one I want to celebrate, but my birthday is the one that I would wish I could forget. And so like respecting those boundaries for sure. Like I'm not going to throw someone a party that would never want like full on would not want a party. But I think it's important to remind people like you made it another year. We love you. And like, it's like, we should celebrate you a little bit. Um, I also don't think that if you hate birthdays and you're that fuck birthdays, fuck you, you're a shitty birthday celebrator, like don't yuck my yum. Like if I invite you to a birthday, come and celebrate the birthday with me. Or if you're going to act that way or not be able to, because it's traumatic, then I would probably say don't come. And that sounds really harsh, but I don't want that energy. I don't want you to tell me how much you hate birthdays while you're at my birthday. That's like the last thing I want. Um, I'm also, I feel like I want to do younger, more stupid things as I get older. Like I would go to Chuck E. Cheese right now or upgrade it. I'd go to like Dave and Buster's is like adult Chuck E. Cheese. You go and you drink and you play a bunch of arcade games and it's fabulous. Uh, Go-karting and uh, mini golfing or go skinny dipping on your birthday. I think, those are the things I enjoy. Those stupid little, like, no matter if I'm 87, 104, I want to do things that make me feel young. I want to celebrate that. And so I think that's a really good, cool idea. But I'm turning 30 this year. I'm turning 30 this year. I'm a 93 baby. And I don't know when this video is coming out. Um, and, I've been, and I've been really excited for about three years. I've been planning and I'm excited. Like, I'm thrilled to turn 30. And from this day, about... A month ago, I had my first 30 panic, and I went into a spiral of like, what am I doing with my life, and where am I going, and what does this mean, and am I stupid, like, sh does anything matter, should I quit my drag job and get a normal human job, like, everything just went to shit, and so as this is fastly approaching, I'm turning 30, I'm balancing this constant excitement, because I think uh, the phrase, like, you thrive in your 30s, you grow in your 20s, you thrive in your 30s, or something like that. Uh, that fucking makes me excited. Plus, I've I've set three and a half year long goals. I started thinking about my thirtieth birthday three and a half years ago, and now I have to accomplish everything that I wanted to up until that point. And I have until the end of my thirtieth year is how I'm measuring it. So when I turn thirty one, that's the end of my thirtieth birthday kind of thing. Like I have thir in my thirties, 
my 30 to figure some things out. But I've gotten excited and part of me wants to do this big extravagant over the top magical moment for my 30th and part of me wants to just go be really fucking stupid and go to a different city and just be messy and go do something on my own. I I don't know what I want to do, but I think that it's important to celebrate milestones, your first birthday, your double digit, your golden birthday. Um, I passed mine. Mine is the 21st. So like when I turned 21, that's why it was so important to me. But if I live long enough and it's like 21, no, never mind. I won't live long enough for it to recycle. <laughs> I'll be dead. But uh, golden birthday, uh, I think 50th birthday is important. Dirty 30 is important. 25 is important. Uh, 21 is important. 18 is important. Um, 15 the next 15. Um, 12, I think is important. Um, like down the road, 75 is important. Um, 93 will be important because that's my, when I was born, there's a lot of different important dates. What I'm saying is no matter how old you get, celebrate it because you never know when it's your last birthday and you should make it about yourself and be a little diva while still being considerate, a little diva, a little bit extra, because sometimes for some people that are not that way all year round, it's really beautiful to see them just like take charge of, of being so like everyone is just all about you for at least a day, if not the weekend that you're celebrating and you deserve it. Everybody truly deserves that. Uh, it's super easy to say happy birthday online. It's super easy to text somebody happy birthday. Um, yeah, something I will never I will never not do as a human. I think they're very important, and I have a lot of opinions on them. So, turning 30 this year, so get me all the gifts, the money, come get me the shots, come fuck me. <laughs> me, fuck me. I want to get fucked 30 times on my 30th birthday. 30 fucks, 30 shots, 30 loads, <laughs> like a donut, 30 tacos, oh, tacos. What's your favorite? Oh, that's a complicated because I don't like sweets. Oh. But if I do, I like banana pie or banana Disgusting. bread bread pu I like bread pudding or banana cream pie, banana foster, anything banana flavored. I love bananas. I love flan. I love flan. Um, birthday flan. Birthday flan. I love puddings. I love boogery consistencies in my desserts. Um, I love certain yo uh, yogurts and ice creams, of course. I'm just don't like chocolate. Nothing cake. I don't eat a lot of cake. Cake, more pie, tart. But I prefer a giant bag of chips, to be completely honest. Birthday chips. Um, <laughs> yeah. All right, everybody. What do you think about birthdays? How old are you turning this year? And uh, what is one of your favorite birthday gifts that you've ever gotten? Post it down in the comments below. All right. We'll see you next time. Bye. Attention the whole. Hi, little whores, it's me, Jessica Lahore. And did you know that I'm on Cameo? That's right, Cameo is a platform where you can get personalized messages from me, the biggest whore in all of Colorado. Whether it be a birthday sing-along, a bar mitzvah, a congratulations on your new job, a congratulations you didn't get pregnant, I'm your whore for the message. So follow the link below, click it, and book your next cameo to surprise your best friend, your grandma, your family member, or any other little Lahore fan out there. Come on, book them now.